welcome to another video in this video i will show you how to you know upload csv file to elasticsearch database and to use the kibana based web interface to visualize little bit of data like you can upload if you can go to the home page you can add any kind of data or uh, for uh, a quickly analysis we can upload any csv file or json file or any sort of log file to it what you can do there is a section uh, like um, once you click that it will come to the data visualization you can use uh, to upload a csv file like comma separated or tsp tab separated and any other log uh, format and maximum size is 10 mb or uh, sorry 100 mb either you can go and select that or you can drag and drop the file here so we'll just go and drag and drop uh, the uh, csv file this is the csv file that i've downloaded uh, for my machine learning analysis like the titanic um, uh, data set it is very uh, minimum number of uh, uh, lines so let's see once you try upload it will try to uh, you know show you the file contents like it has uh, 499 419 number of lines and this is comma separated and you can see the uh, headers like passenger ID, survival, class, name, and second, all of the things that we will show you for, for your uh, understanding. And the summary also, that means whether the file is okay or not. And after that, it will show you all the fields along with the uh, distribution, like the data, how the data is got uh, distributed across um, uh, the max and the mean values. And if it has any distinct value, that like, an initial point you can just give the statistics like description of the data so once you oh you know are comfortable that this is the data that you would like to analyze it then what you can do after that you can just click the import button and once you do import it will ask for you the index name index name is something is like the table name in rdms like the dbms language this is in in uh, Elasticsearch, it is an index, and you can give an index name like table dot titanic dot data set. It will try to create an index for you. So any further uh, uh, related data, it can be used. That same index name can be used. So it is trying to process the data. Index is created, data uploaded to the DB Elasticsearch DB. Okay, this is the index name. The index name pattern you can use a dot star or something like that. So you can view the index in discovery or in the last section is like create a file bit configuration that will cover in the upcoming videos so in the discovery section so this is yeah the file bit will be seeing like so for similar upcoming files that you can uh, create a file bit so that will process the file and upload to you know directly send the data to kibana or uh, elastic search so okay directly we'll go to the Discovery section like we discover the data that we have uploaded this is the table dot titanic dot data set like this is the index so table is like the we, we no need to use it so we'll be using index quite often so in this once you come to this page it will try to show you the available fields like uh, it could have um, the fields like currently at a 16 number and the right hand side the documents that you can see Though it's not a time series data, so we are not, uh, you know, seeing the time-based filtration like um, on the top section, like filtering the da data based on time. Okay, in the document section, once you expand that row, it will show you the table, whatever the data, and the JSON format also. When you can select the JSON and see uh, how the data has been, the CSV data record has been converted. You can see the index name clearly, like index name is table the Titanic, it belongs to. And each each row is, you know, coming with an ID. So like um, randomly generated unique ID. And this is the version version as one. If you want to update that line, it will, it will update the version or two or something like that. So this is the record of uh, one row on, docu on document, you can say. This is the index in the index. This is the one document like in table. And this is a row in DBMS like that. Okay, once you select that um, particular uh, field, it will show you what is the maximum like the distribution, how the data is distributed, like the percentage in the class, as you can see, it's also distributed. Either you can add that uh, plus sign so that once you click that plus sign, it will add the uh, filtration in the top section you can see sex is equal to colon male 
similarly you can select any of the data as you can see once you select that all the data has been filtered in the right hand side now it is 266 number uh, you can also add multiple uh, else and like uh, multiple such uh, rules by using logical and or all else and or or and also you can uh, use less than greater than or equal to that sort of uh, conditions also multiple conditions you can uh, you know uh, stitch together okay that kind of condition is when i'm not getting any data so let's uh, change the filtration uh, like uh, the search criteria that is also not uh, okay i might have done it uh, is there any s or capital s okay capital s the name was not correct the field so i have updated it so i think it should get some data above greater than equal to 30 come on it's a searching yeah there you go yes you get all the data mail has been already added to the filtration so i'll just uh, add another i'll remove it i will add it in the top section like and and uh, sex uh, colon colon means equal to male or female you can select of your choice based upon the data it will dynamically suggest you because it's it might have already passed the data and understood it so that based upon the data field it is try it, it will try to show you so that it will be easier for you to do add your filtration on the browser itself so this is called kql maybe you can call it as kibana query language or that sort of thing okay now you can do it okay now the thing is that once you select any of the field we can visualize the data also so as you can see there is a button called uh, visualize once you select any particular field so it will take you to the visualize library section so let's go there so this is our data we let's try to visualize otherwise yeah see the index table has been there so once you, we have selected that data called uh, what is that data we have selected class okay it is trying to show you the stacked bar uh, with um, uh, for p class so we are saying and this uh, data we, this graph from this graph we are not unable to understand anything let's change the graph to do not chat let's see whether it is showing anything relevant to us otherwise we will try to change or any other or, uh, so any number of fields to it and on the right hand side you can also select other than median you can select average count max mean that kind that sort of thing okay this is the main or female you can drag any other uh, uh, necessary uh, attribute or fields to to the graph and you can change the graph also it, it will dynamically and, and then you can analyze on the wave itself yeah so we'll drag uh, p class to the right hand side as you can see p class has been drag and drop to that field section so as you can see then the um, do not chat uh, you, you are seeing two such um, uh, fields analysis one is uh, sex and other one is uh, the p class you can change that um, uh, you know chart type to something like any other um, chart of your relevant analysis that we can change it so that's not an uh, uh, issue so we can uh, play around and analyze the data and also in the lesson that i was talking about we can change uh, the uh, median to mean average percentile unique count that sort of uh, function you can change it on the fly and visualize it in the graph itself once you see it then we can also save this kind of view or you can download the filtration data to us download as csv in the section you can see in the top and uh, right top right corner so okay there you go i think um, you can play around you can um, export any sort of um, csv file or json file for of your choice you can visualize the data by by simply uploading the data to the browser itself it will try to create a index for you that that means um, a table for uh, old school like adwm school so stay tuned uh, and uh, subscribe if you don't like also dislike also that's not an issue okay uh, like share and subscribe bye bye